TCC is here. And the condition on this one is you cannot use any mankin duplicates. Meaning, if there is a mankin version of a character, you just can't use them. Which sounds pretty restrictive, and it indeed is. But this team doesn't care about that. This team doesn't need mannequins. They don't need tanking. They don't need anything. I actually had the pleasure of running this team on this stage before in Dystopia with uh, some friends of mine in a co-op. And they just shut it down so easily that I figured, why not just do it for the Extreme Challenge? They don't need three summons to get this done, not at all. Look at that. We're just getting started. But that's not even the good part. Wait till Noctis gets his overdrive up to see how much this team just shuts this stage down. I mean, already they're hitting once. They're already nerfed beyond belief. Yeah. Need I say more? I believe we have a Quistus EX. We do. Stay focused on Noctis. He's got the most life. 952 damage. Okay. Get this battery for everybody. About 60k there at all. Not bad. A little bit more. Okay, here we go. Trash, who needs a tank? Useless. I really don't use that many HP attacks in this. This team kind of does allow it to where you can just sort of spam skills to victory. You gotta throw a few in here and there. Not with this. She'll just keep going. She can just spam whips and still have whips left over and it's not a problem. But Freya, yeah. Definitely gotta throw some HP attacks in there. But can I say that uh, Freya has been trouncing every TCC lately? Very good character, even to this day. Big fan of her. In fact, this, the Freya Quistus combo is is not one to be understated. And you know what? The whole team is really good. Gabranth is one of those characters that I unfortunately just haven't really used all that much since I got him. I was so excited to get him, too. I just didn't use him as much as I thought I would, but he's still fairly new. He definitely has his uses. He's got good damage, and he's got great utility. HP increase to the party, damage reduction to the party, auto breaks, great debuff, solid, solid character. Tons of AoE too. This whole team is very AoE heavy, but it works out because, okay, so there's this wave, which AoE is your best friend. I mean, look how quickly they're dying. But all these characters aside from Quistus have consecutive hits on their EXs. So even if it goes from AoE to single target, it's not like you're just sitting there wasting damage or struggling to actually do damage to a single because that Cherry Blossom will just double up and hit it twice. Same with the Gabranth EX, it's beautiful. And there's a lot of, um, yeah, damage mitigation between Gabranth and what he does and then Freya's last stand for the whole team. We did not even need to take advantage of Freya's last stand. It wasn't even necessary at all. But she really wasn't here for that. She was here for just auras and battery and splash damage for this wave. And it worked out great. Oh, and healing. Of course. She's our only healer. Might as well just focus lightning. 
Lock is going to die of splash damage. Yes, this is kind of a wasted launch, but we're doing max anyway. It's not even a big deal. So this will be a solid 27 turns to get to Ifrit. And now Ifrit gets bullied because Quistis is here. Everybody remembers how much Quistis bullied Ifrit back in the day. That has not changed. She's even better at it now. I want to say this, uh, this stage took about 12 minutes, I want to say. Oh my god, you hear that siren? I swear, every time I try to make a video, there's some sort of loud noises. Whether it be a train or sirens or loud music. And I'm not talking about the loud music I include myself. I'm talking about exterior uninvited loud music. Jesus. Welcome to my hometown. This battery. Can we delay? Oh yes, we can. We definitely can. Look at all the nines this team just throws up. It's getting constant breaks. It's beautiful. So I was about to say, all of these characters, I would love to see what JP has in store for their LD. Gabrant has one already. He got his not that long ago. I'm not going to lie, I have no idea what it does. Not a clue. But I'll probably chase it anyway, just because I love Gabrant. And I already have it maxed out. That's kind of like a rule I'm doing. Is even if an LD comes out and it's like deemed as underwhelming by the majority of the community or whatever, if I have that character maxed out and purpled already, I'm going to chase that LD. To me, it makes sense. I mean, as long as you're not spending too much, like if you can luck sack it on tickets, and you have a character built already, even if they're technically quote unquote not that good or whatever, why not just expand on them? You already have them built, you've invested in them enough to where you like the character. Why not just take it a little further if you can? More nines, more battery. More breaks. So we're in a good position. He's almost to half. We still have two Degenerator Whips left, so we can really just bully this thing whenever we want. Get that break. Yes. In retrospect, I do wonder if I could have from this point forward, set it up to where Ifrit didn't get a turn at all. Maybe it's possible. But I kind of just figured even if he takes turns, he can't really do anything anyway. So I wasn't really that concerned with just delay, delay, delay the whole time. To figure, okay, we got these C65s. We might as well use them. Because he's barely going to be able to touch us with this. Yeah. Not bad at all. See, just, just pace yourself. No need to delay yet. Now this is when I gotta spam some HP attacks. Probably could've used a the skill there, but... I didn't have a whole lot of batteries, so I figured let's just, uh... Let's just build, let's just expand on that first. That right there is where I should've summoned. That would have hit even harder. Probably not 300, but a little closer.
This is just brave damage. Not even worried. Even if we were to let him get that hit off, we wouldn't die. Gabranth would be fine. But we're not going to let him do it anyways. Might as well just break this down while it's in front of us. More HP. Okay, we're all set. I've not used a single one of those. Let's get our overflow up. Let's get him in the red. He's right there. Trying to remember if I... Because I did a Twitch stream last weekend where I just ran through this chaos with a bunch of different teams and some of my friends and stuff. I don't remember if this team was used. Something very similar to it was, though. I think it was Quistus Gabranth and... Aphmau, I think. I did use Freya here, though. All these characters did did appear on the stream. I think Freya was my second character that I used. I don't remember who she was with, but it worked out well. Get a little bit more battery. Another break. Oh, it wasn't up. See, I should have used the skill beforehand. The EX would have been up. That would have been the perfect setup. That's okay. I could have gotten another break here, but he's about to recover. So instead, we'll let him recover. Break him. We should have one degenerator whip left. We use it. And now that he's broken, we can break him again. Not a bad setup. Battery this team. With the CX. Yes. We don't need LDs. We don't need BTs. We don't need friend units. We don't even need good summons. This was a wash. Another one for the books. Okay, well, now that this event is officially done for me, I'm going to go get in that raid. So, hope to see you guys there. Thanks for watching.